Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome all my former colleagues, colleagues, and members of the administration, and those outside the administration that made this happen. I was, uh, I want to say one thing at the outset. I never thought that having been in the Senate for so many years, as well as Vice President for 12 years, for eight years, President for four years, that I see have to worry about wanting to erase history. We're literally erase history, what we can't read, what we can't write. And uh, what I'm excited about, beyond the specifics of this, we're rewriting history, we're allowing history to be written what happened. So our children, our grandchildren, everybody understand what happened. Yes. And what can still happen. In fact, something happened here similar recently. And so, you know, I want to thank, especially thanks to Senator Duckworth and Senator President and Senator designation for Springfield 1908 Race Ride National Monument remind ourselves so we have to we, we can have no safe harbor unless we continue to remind people what happened. What happened? Is that really important? I'm, 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 you know, <clears throat> as you've heard me say, <clears throat> when I had an operation years ago, the doctor said, told me what my chances were, and he said, no, your problem is yours. You're a, you're a congenital optimist. Well, I'm an optimist. I'm optimist about this country with a good people. But we can't let these things fade. And I want to thank the engineering firm that went out and found the remedies for the facility. I want to thank the Catholic Hospital for donating the site to be able to make this happen. And all these people behind me, by the way, we have a secretary. So I just want to thank everybody here who came together to work so hard, because this is such an important part of our nation's history, what the Midwest has done, what the Midwest has done in terms of being part of the civil rights movement. So much of what happened in the South started and was supported through places in Chicago and in Springfield. And I'm so proud that Springfield, Illinois is home to the beginning of the NAACP. Good things can come out of bad things as long as you don't forget what happened. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. This was not the only race ride in America by any means. My hometown of East St. Louis, Illinois had one as yes. well. The difference here was it was the home of Abraham Lincoln. 
that moment in history, people reflected on the fact that it's stunned and outraged. I think this happened in Mr. Lincoln's hometown. And I think that's what inspired the NAACP, Mr. President. That's why that has national significance. But it was the connection with Lincoln that really drove home the point that racism has to end in America. We're still fighting that battle. I would just add again an appreciation to you, Mr. President, for honoring this moment in history for Springfield and this, just the unanimous support for the community. This is a happy day for us, but that we have so much more work to do in our community and the strive for equality and justice. We still have a lot of work to do. You know, I got involved in politics because of this moment. My state, to its great shame, was a slave state. And, uh, and uh, when I got elected, uh, I ran to get a change in nature of parties. They go on for a short, make a lot of progress. You can never stop it. You can give hate no safe Thank you. Thank you, Press. Let's go. Let's go, guys. All right.